time to go make some magical memories here at Disney's Hollywood Studio. Welcome to California and Florida. You can step right up and get a picture taken with Daisy right when you walk in the gate. Or you can step over here and get a picture taken with Donald. Good morning, citizens of Hollywood. Well, good morning, good morning to you, sir. How's it going? It's pretty hot already, right? What are you talking about? This is gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Where are you from? I'm from Boston. Oh, oh. Where it snows six hot. months of the year. Hot for Boston. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice, beautiful, cool morning for Hollywood. Yeah, California. autumn finally happened here in Hollywood. Yeah, so enjoy it while you can. Another two hours or so. And yeah, then and then it'll be summer, summer again. Well, that's all right. I should have bought my truck. I would have just jumped in that pond behind you. <laughs> or the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's not a... I'd probably get kicked out there, That's right? Echo Lake, though. I, yeah, wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't go in Echo There is lake. a dinosaur behind you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I say every time, he's an old school vlogger. We think that dragon looks scary. You want to talk about scary? What till we get on this thing? Luckily, I have my fast pass. I was lucky to get a fast pass. Look at the size of this line. I literally just walked in this hotel with nobody in front of me in the fast pass line. This library is full of haunted Twilight Zone relics. A lot of Easter eggs if you just look around. Tonight's story of the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator, still in operation, waiting for you. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard because in tonight's episode, you are the star. And this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. To our valued guests, for your safety once on board, Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the elevator at all times, and do take special care to supervise your children. Thank you. Elevators here will begin with the I don't have a fast pass for a rock and roller coaster. Gotta go see what the standby line is. From Boston, after all. Gotta go see my boys from Boston. Looks like it's 30 minutes. 30 minute wait. Think I'm gonna walk around. I'll come back a little bit later. haven't done the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular, that's something that you gotta do at least once in your life. On the other side of this fence, another phase of Hollywood Studios is almost getting complete. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge will be rolling into Hollywood Studios next fall. 
November, December is what I've been told. Which is just in time because, well, a new Star Wars movie sits theaters next December. See, look, even out in the distance you can see that crane. It's working hard to bring you Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. We've got some celebrity sightings out here at Hollywood Studios. Chip and Dale are both here. <laughs> you guys like Muppets? Well, you're in luck, because Hollywood Studios, they got the Muppets too. The Muppets too? Don't you mean Muppets Take Manhattan? But if you're coming for the pizza at Pizza Rizzo's, you gotta come soon because this place is no longer gonna be here shortly. I think the rumor's been confirmed that Pizza Rizzo's going away. I always like trying something new when I come out to a Disney park. In the 50s Primetime Cafe is a place I've never been inside of. Which makes this place a fantastic place to try out. I mean, check out this bar. It feels like you're walking into a 1950s, 1960s, like, sitcom, like Leave it to Beaver. This is an inside of a bar. I mean, this is legit tripping me out. I feel like I'm walking into, like, Leave it to Beaver. I mean, check out this restaurant. You feel like you're walking into a kitchen as well. This is amazing. Gee, shucks. This sure is a swell bar. It's wild. They show all old 1950s TV shows on these screens behind the bar. I got a Jack and Coke. I might stick around for lunch. Here's the menu for the 50s primetime cafe. It's all feel-good food. Chicken noodle soup, dad stuffed pork chop, hot roast, meatloaf, lasagna, just like mom used to make. I feel like I'm on the set of Mad Men. Cheers. I just left the 50s primetime cafe, so I'm not gonna step inside the sci-fi diner. I think I actually need a reservation. Inside the sci-fi diner, you sit inside the cars and it looks like you're inside of a drive-in movie theater. I haven't been there, but it's pretty cool what I've heard and seen videos of. But right outside the sci-fi diner is the place I'm gonna go check out. This place is fairly new within the last year here at Hollywood Studios. I've been here a couple times. It's a great bar. It's the Baseline Tap House. They got a huge selection of California beers here on tap. She's gonna print one here to sign for me. Heffenweisen. I think it's all kinds of cool stuff to look at while you're drinking your Heffenweisen or whatever you choose. The beers aren't the only big thing here inside this tap house. Check out the size of that pretzel. The Chinese theater behind me used to be the home of the great movie ride. It's no longer here though. Because coming soon is a brand new attraction here to the Grauman's Chinese Theater. And here's what's coming. It's Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Oh, check this stuff out. Vintage picture from the grand opening of the Jungle Book movie. Right there, that's the original Grauman's Chinese Theater in Los Angeles. The premiere of the Jungle Book. Was that 1965? That is old school Baloo and King Louie. It looks like he's the voice of Mowgli. There's the voice of Ka the Snake. Colonel Hoffy on parade. I'm about to step foot into a part of Hollywood Studios that I've never been to before. Hey, hey partners, just like I always tell my pal Buzz, you've got a friend in me. And that place is Toy Story Land. Drinking all this tall beer out here, kind of catching a buzz. One hour standby line for the brand new roller coaster out here at Hollywood Studios, the Slinky Dog Dash. Here we go.
place is great. All the toys are big. It's like you're in Andy's backyard is what's supposed to be going on here. All the toys out here are ginormous. Here we go. That's uh, a pretty good shot of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Are you telling me this is a line for a food stand? Andy's lunchbox? Wait time, 30 minutes. <laughs> Good luck getting a fast pass for this ride. I didn't even look to see what the standby ride is. I don't plan on going on it. It's more of a kid's ride than what I'm looking for. But it's one of the brand new rides here at Hollywood Studios. It's Alien Swirling Saucers. Nailed it. The little details they put in here in Toy Story Land. Check this out. This looks like the bottom of a sole from a Converse sneaker, right? I love how the overhead lighting here are Christmas lights. Probably looks amazing here at night. I'm not going to be here tonight for this, but uh, all lit up. It's got to look fantastic. And it sounds appropriate since we're supposed to be toys here on the ground in Andy's backyard. How would you even begin to figure out which stroller is yours? When you're here at Hollywood Studios, you gotta go in this building. Inside this building is something special. What you're gonna see is the history of Walt Disney World, all its parks, all its animation, all its TV shows. One man's dream. It's basically a Walt Disney World museum. Wait, right there, that's Epcot. Marceline, Missouri, the hometown of Walt Disney, and his inspiration behind Main Street USA. You guys can definitely see the inspiration, right? The official first Mickey Mouse cartoon, Steamboat Willie, 1928. Oh, here's a Mickey Milestone. This is one of Walt Disney's original desks. Check this out. Check this out. This is a model of Disneyland Park with the Sleeping Beauty Castle. And here's a model of the original Jungle Cruise from Disneyland. And a model of Disney's DCA, which is Disney's California Adventure. If you guys are true Disney fans, if you're watching this video, you probably are. You know that the Cinderella Castle here in Orlando is a lot bigger in Sleeping Beauty's Castle in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Whoa, if this thing was for sale, I think I might buy it. Unfortunately, it's not. Here's a model from 1980 in Spaceship Earth. Look how primitive it looks compared to what it looks like now. And here's a model of the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. And coming to a galaxy not too far away. Next year, in fact, this is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. This is a model of what we're about to see here in Orlando and in California. Uh, good luck getting anywhere near this place uh, the next couple of years without a few hour wait. And here's some sketch art of the new attraction that's taking over the Grauman's Chinese Theater. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hope it's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. An indoor speeder bike. You 
you gotta get the blue milk while you're at Star Wars Launch Bay. Oh, check it out here in Launch Bay. You can get some Skywalker Ranch wines. I haven't tried them. I need to. That is brilliant. They have that Darth Vader looking like one of the 70s and 80s Kenner action figures that we all used to play with if you're around my age or even if you're a pop culture collector. You know about that figure. Bad news for you. Unless you give up your fellow traitors, or you cooperate, you'll be contacted soon. The First Order thanks you for your loyalty. As you were. Uh, the droids you're looking for are that way. Well, I think that's it for me today here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I didn't do a lot, but it's also a half-day park until Star Wars opens. You guys know what to do next. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment. I always answer all the comments. Be sure to subscribe to Detours. Hit that red button. And when you're clicking away, click on that bell icon. It's a small bell. It gives you instant notification every single time I upload a brand new detour. You can be the first one to see it. Check me out on social media. I'm on Instagram, at Derek Millen, D-E-R-E-K-M-I-L-L-E-N. It's right here in the bottom of your screen. On Instagram, I upload photos from where I'm currently filming a detour. You're going to see where I'm at about two or three days before I put that video up on YouTube. Share this video with your friends. I don't care what you do with it. And as always, I'll catch you on the next detour.